Hi guys, and today I'll be playing A Hollow Harvest. You find yourself in a quiet little village. After inheriting an old farm from a deceased brother, a family member reaches out to you for your help to find out who's responsible. But the investigation isn't easy. Someone's locked everything up, and we have to search through our brother's belongings and try to find out his secrets. But along the way, there's just dead bo bodies piling up. So he's hiding something big. Is it okay? Warning. Mm, I cannot play this game in a dark room. I scare quite easily. I'm pressing. Oh, yes, of course. Sometimes I can hear them. They speak to me when the rest of the world is quiet. I can't remember what they say. I can't even understand it. They wait until I'm somewhere between sleep and wakefulness, halfway between strange dreams and dreary reality. Sleep paralysis. They speak in the most wretched voices. I can't get them out of my head. Not since I saw it. They'll tell me everything there is and everything that can be. I can't understand it, but I don't need to. There are parts of me that I'm not aware of that understand them perfectly. And they know that. They say the most horrid things, but in such a captivating way. I want to block them out, but I can't stop listening. They know that too. That's why they wait. Until I'm not quite asleep, but not quite awake either. For a little while, they were starting to quiet down. But now, they can sense it. The beating heart of the forest. And the closer I get, so much the more they talk to me. It's awful, but it doesn't matter. When I wake up, I won't remember any of it anyway. Finally made it. I was starting to wonder if this place even existed. The roads were even worse here than out the last place. I had to take confusing paths for hours. But none of that matters now. I need to find the crow in the farm and get indoors as soon as possible. It's gotten much darker than I wanted, and they'll be out before long. Okay, remember it's important to investigate everything, but be careful of the choices you make can get you killed. Oh man. Okay. Investigate everything. Locked. Welcome to Vondolin. A very quiet village. It's also locked. I mean, you can't get into someone's house. This is hours Monday to Friday, 10 to 8, 11 to 9, close Sundays. Is that like a little farm or something? Notice for a contract notice. Loser to Vondolvin. The contract applies here as much as anywhere else in the forest. You must abide by it. It is a law. As such, no breaches will go unpunished. If someone else breaking the contract, report them immediately for a cash reward. Even if they're a friend, know that they must do the right thing. It's for the good of the town. By not reporting them, you are endangering everyone else. Think of the community. Be safe and make the right decision. So this town is under some other curse, I guess. Looking for the thrills is Halloween. The crowing crone crow corn maze will scare you out of your mind. Are you brave enough to enter? The mission is free, so what are you waiting for? Grab yourself some spooky fun. This paper is nearly three weeks old. Must have forgotten to take it down. Uh, come on, look all. Come on, come all, to the greatest show you'll ever see. Watch in awe and wonder how people do the impossible. Just as rigid as puppets, but in flesh. How they do it? So mysterious, so amazing, and no admission tickets or fees required. All are welcome to watch. Coming up north to Evertide Town soon. You don't want to miss this. It's a bookstore. Okay, uh, and a missing person. If you want to report a missing person, don't post it publicly in town or it'll be taken down. File a report to be approved to approve bold of authorities only? It's for the good of the entire town. Instead of creating more fear and anxiety in these troubling times, know that the bold authorities are working tirelessly to protect the community. What? Uh, 
What? You can't even put up missing persons? That just... Well, that's just bizarre. I don't know exactly what's happening here, but we seem to well not want to talk about certain things. That's locked. Why is the town so much empty? It's so empty. I know it's dark out, but like... Be careful, I feel like these dogs will kill me. I don't know, I just have a feeling. Good evening. Goodness, you really came. Look, Matha, the Chasters arrive. This here is my Ma- Ma- Oh, it's Martha. I was like, why is it called Matha? This here is my wife, Martha. She can't speak anymore. But she's making the most of it. And this here is my daughter, Fern. Nice to meet you, Doctor. Well, come in, come in. You must be exhausted after traveling such a long way. Here, sit down. Soup's just about ready. We can talk over about this over dinner. So, you said you just inherited a farm and you're having trouble with the livestock? And then the townspeople started disappearing as well? Yes, and we reason to think that whatever is causing this also killed the previous owners. You see, we come from a family of farmers. We even had a small one to call our own beforehand, but... Poor Jonathan left within his will that we look after this farm after his passing, so here we are. It's much bigger than we're used to, but we managed so far. But the thing is, the livestock, they all disappeared. And once they were all gone, a couple of townspeople started acting strangely before going missing as well. Now, it could just be a coincidence considering people go missing around these parts anyway, but the timing... Then it got worse. Their bodies started turning up in the village dead. But what did the corpses look like? Any marks or peculiar injuries that could tip you off as to how they died? There were no marks. They just got real pale and their hearts stopped beating one day. The village thought they had been hit by Strigoi or something? And that but that didn't add up because their bodies were found in broad daylight. They weren't reduced to ash by sunlight or anything like that. You mentioned they were acting strangely. Tell me exactly how. It's all second hand, but I'll do my best. People said they were begging for help at the edge of the forest, luring others in. But when they got inside of them, there were just something off that stopped them from getting any closer. They said they were acting too stiff, like puppets or something. This is a whole mystery. And that their eyes had no life in them, just bulging from the sockets, staring without blinking, but not directly at them. More ahead in their general direction. I don't know what to make of it, but there is also missing people that were never found. How many people have gone missing? How many were found and when? Nine total were found. Most of them went missing this week, but the last two, but two last week and one the week before. Were they buried or cremated? Buried. And with the proper rights? Yes, the authorities didn't like it, but the instructions were left in their wills, were stayed by their families, so they couldn't stop it. I mean, they poked fun at the rights and everything, but still chose them when it came to their burials. I think the whole situation scared them into it, but why? Definitely, I'm sure their corpses can't be taken and reanimated. Those rights aren't just for show. Now let's see, do you know any of the town's history or troubles? I'm new here, and people are pretty close-lipped about it. Not surprising, it's no different in other parts of the forest either. Some people ignore or deny the existence of monsters despite it all, and I dare say some people even worship the demons of the forest. You better watch your step here. Chasters draw a lot of warrant attention, and you don't know who you can trust. I know, I know. I've had a few cases around here. But why do they all act like that? People are going missing and dying all around them. Yet they're opposed to anyone trying to help solve their problems. It's definitely confusing, but I think it mostly comes down to safety and comfort. No one wants to act like they're content to let someone else take the risk. But they also think outsiders like you interfering with the forest, it's a breach of the contract, and that will make things worse. I think the demons know that too and take advantage of it. If you meddle, things will get worse before they get better. But if you don't, oh... I can't live like this anymore. I'm begging. Please help us. I can't make any promises, but I'll do my best. Thank you so much, Doctor. That's enough for me. 
to know my family's not alone in all this. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so the... So, I guess this town and some other towns are all in this forest that everyone knows is being haunted by demons and whatnot? Right, you can't speak. I'm kinda scared. Don't worry, I'll get to the bottom of this. Uh, like, why are they barking at? There must be something out there. They've been upset throughout the nights a lot lately. I think it could be whatever is causing all our trouble. If you go out to look, be careful. Oh, I have HP. Gallery status item. Save. Okay, anything interesting here? Where are the dogs? <gasps> oh my god, that kind of freaked me out. Oh? <laughs> it's getting away, I have to go after it. Oh. Where did it go? Where did it go? If it slunk back into the forest, and there's no way I'll be able to catch it. Oh. What if it's luring me out here to get to the Crowans? They left the windows open. I have to go warn them. Why would they leave their windows open? It's like the worst thing to do. No! Tell me they're okay. Did you find out what it was? I got a glimpse of it, but it got away. You have to close the windows, wherever they got in. Oh, I didn't think of that. I'll close them right away. You go upstairs and close those ones. I'll take care of the ones down here. Let's split up this way every night. Don't forget to do your part. Alright. Where's the daughter? Oh wait, where are the windows? This place is really big. Like, this is a pretty nice house. Oh, there they are. I thought I was gonna see something. <laughs> Do it for tonight. I just got here and I'm exhausted. I'll sleep on it, think of some ideas, and start looking around in the morning. They said there's a guest room I could stay in upstairs, I believe. Can I go down in the basement? I mean, it started with this house, right? People started going missing. These kegs smell sour. Odds and ends from racks and empty bottles. Looks like it was set aside for market booths. Seems like there's nothing else down here. It's broken. They must not know how to fix it, but can't bring themselves to throw it out. Oh, a loom, huh? The sign with the Crow and Farm logo done in chalk. There's a lot of smudging from old writing and rewriting. This is all food and stuff. Oh wait, what's this? No, it's such a chair. Books? Sale ledgers? Some of them have writing, most are blank. Likely indicated of the farm's financial struggle. It's locked. I don't want to damage the house, so I should wait until I find the right key. Like there must be something important on the other side. More books. They're dusty. What a shame. I guess I talk to her. She's like, how'd she lose her? Voice. More books? These are very old. Vintage, even. Mm, let me just go upstairs. Maybe there's something else. There's a lot of books lying around. Oh, there's an attic. I don't need to search up there yet. Dang it. Oh, it's the guest room. These windows closed? It's dark now. That's one of the strongest. This is empty. Put myself away tomorrow. Too tired to be bothered now. Anything in here? Lights on. It's empty. I look so tired these days. Very unprofessional. Maybe we can investigate other rooms in the house. This one? This is the master bedroom. And then... Well, let's just go to sleep. Yep. I can't bear to stay awake another minute.
Good morning, lad. Who are you? Where am I? You've already asked me that so many times. What did I do to you, boy? Well, I'm Gregory, and this is my house. You're safe here. Well, as much as you can be, around my kind of work. Ha, ah, don't look so down, lad. You're worried you're looking so much better already. You'll be right as rain in no time at all. When you came in, you couldn't even put a sentence together. I know it must be stressful, but you must be strong. You'll get through this. Where, where are my pills? Where's my therapist? I need him. I need him to cure my sickness. I can feel them again, just below my skin. I can't breathe. No, lad. You can't go back to those. They're poisoning you. I can imagine why, but they were just the same. Where were you? Who did this to you? Oh, breathe there, lad. Now, no... Now if you use, you pass out on me again. Oh, that's what you say. Never mind about them, then. Don't worry about whatever it was that you were dealing with. Just focus now on this moment, in this place. You're going to be fine, you hear? Where are they? I need them. I can hear the noises again. I threw them away. We'll never see them again. You what? You're going to have to trust me on this, lad. I know it's hard, but you have to do this. I can't. Where, where even is this place? Where am I? Who are you? I'm Gregory, and this is my house. I found you in the forest. You collapsed. I don't know for how long, but you are unconscious. And a man of your own blood. You were deathly anemic. I almost didn't make it in time, but I did, and that's what matters. Calm down now, let's start with the basics. What's your name, lad? I'm Jesse. I'm Dr. <sighs> I just had it a second ago, Dr. Thornhart? That's it, I'm Jesse James Thornhart. See, now you're introducing yourself. That's a good milestone there, lad. Why are you talking to me? Do I even know you? Who are you? Where are we? Ah, bloody hell. One step at a time, I suppose. But you get there eventually, lad. I believe in you. Nope. Save now. Gregory. I wonder how he's doing. I haven't seen him for so long. Bless that old man for taking such good care of me at a time like that. Now what time is it? Ah, afternoon already. Strange how I have to adjust my sleep schedule on the job. I used to be early to bed, early to rise, but I can't live like that anymore. I have to be up when the monsters are out in order to do my job. Well, better get started. I need to take a look around this place time to sketch my up and map. There we go. Okay, the loft, the house basement, the farm is over there, and then the town square. I'll have to update the ma map each night as I figure out which parts are where. Today, I think I'll ask Ms. Mr. Crowen where the barn is and have a look inside. Okay, so he's able to... It's exciting starting a new book, knowing I can write pages, anything in these pages. Adventure, wonder, tragedy, but I usually stick to something quieter. So he didn't have sleep paralysis. Do, like, he had, like, maybe a gift to seeing, like, things that people usually can't see, like the demons? I'll get to these ones I have some free time. They're not going anywhere. Okay, time to leave. Can I look? Ah, oh, fine. I don't want to look in the basement. I mean, the haddock. Well, both of them, since they both hold secrets. Why is there a singular book here? I thought you leave it on the floor like that. The pages will bend. There you are. I mentioned the livestock were safe. Do you mind if I inspect the barn? And where is it at? Well, it's just east of the house. Wouldn't mind, but we can't even get in ourselves. When we arrived, we couldn't find the key anywhere. So we've been keeping the animals outside for the time being. That's the one reason they keep us appearing, since we can't lock them up safe with doors. Oh, right. In that case, any idea where I should look? Try going upstairs and searching the loft. That's where we put most of Jonathan's things when we moved in. You see, it's difficult having all those extra reminders around, now that he's gone. Looking through it, I realized I didn't even know him very well while he was alive. Even though he's family, we just drift apart. And where does the time go? I understand. Guess I have a look, then. Finally, I could go upstairs in the attic. What? 
Hmm, did the house look bigger from downstairs? It really did though, like there was only three rooms. They did a good job of keeping this place clean. Like, it looks so huge. So it's weird that there's only three rooms. So, what are- So these are what remain of him. I can see why this sort of thing would be hard in the family. All these things that matter to him. The things he spent his life collecting. And he'll never be back to use them again. I need to stay focused. How am I even going to find one small key in all this? If it's even in here? It's like my work's cut off for me. It won't get done if I don't get started. There are a few odds and ends at the bottom, but nothing useful. Like it. Label grain, but it's too long expired to be any good. I do not need to go down. What's this? Sketches of the surrounding forest. Maybe that'll be useful. Useless clutter, whiskey. It smells disgusting. What's this? Car parts, but these look like they've been sitting for a couple of decades. I suppose it makes sense. The rolls are unusual around here. Mm, anything else you could use? Ha! Huh, finally found it. Oh, found the key! Let's search around more. Back of records, none of this music is any good. Some old shirts and coats. Um. Gambling tickets. useful. Okay, well, we got the key, that's all that matters. Okay, found it! Were you able to find that key in the loft? Yes, but it doesn't look big enough to go in the barn. Do you know what it's for? Hmm, it looks like the shed key, if I'm not mistaken. Not that I was hoping for, but I might as well take a look. Okay, onto the shed. The dogs won't kill me, right? Okay. They look kind of scary when it was like still the nighttime and whatnot. This is the shed, I'm assuming. So, this has been locked away by accident. It's strange how much something so mundane can tell you about a person. The work he was doing, the projects he never got to finish. And now it's all been left to mind, left to mold and rot. I'll lay back to work. I'll take a quick look in here and see if I can find anything useful. Okay, let's start here. Half inch crate. This is a detailed map of a corn maze. Could all this be for that? Was he trying to save the farm with his attraction? It's gotten dull from flying through so much wood. This looks like a sword rack. Too bad no one would ever know what it was going to be. All we can do now is guess. Well, nails and bolts of various sizes, not very organized, but it looks like that didn't matter. Some kind of wood finishing grease. It's all dried out now, though. I wonder what he was going to make out of this. The scraps. Waivers? What did he need these for? They're liability waivers. Something about not being responsible for injuries. And they have signatures on them already. I'll take these and show them to Mr. Pro right now. Maybe a whole know who about these signatures belong to. Hmm? There's also a key here. That's strange, but I'll take it. Take a key. You must need, need a lot of these for that tree infestation. That must be so exhausting to deal with every day. I'm guessing that's it? Looks to be it. Huh, come to think of it, Jonathan wasn't shy like everyone else about using the forest as wood in his projects. Interesting. Okay, so the villagers don't use the wood because they think the forest itself is cursed, so it makes sense that they wouldn't want to use the wood from the forest. But he did. So he did have something to do with this as well. Must be where they draw the water for their crops and livestock. Okay, he's already drawn some water. Anything else useful here? What's this? Why are there so many trees growing by the kettle? That's a fire hazard. Left over carpentry and some barrels. I didn't need these barrels. Apple cider. Okay, let's just go show them the waivers that we found. Hey, 
Okay, you're just in time for dinner. No, he's not. He's actually... Smart. Um, anyway. There's something I need to talk to you about. Oh, very well then. What's the matter? Turns out, the key I found in the loft actually went to the shed, and inside I found these. Liability waivers for the corn maze, apparently. Do you recognize any of these signatures? Let me take a look. I am new to this town, so unfortunately most of these names are unfamiliar to me, but I do know this one. Kara Miller. I met her parents, and they're well... They're mourning her. She went missing on Halloween, and they haven't seen her since. Even the problems here recently, I blame whatever is making the townspeople act so strangely. Missing, huh? That goes the lead. Listen, Mr. Croan, you're not going to want to hear this, but is Jonathan the kind of person that would have something to do with it? Norway was advertised by Halloween night. He felt the need to make waivers. At least one of the children happens to, to be last seen there. I know it's a bit of a reach, and I doubt he's responsible for all of it, considering his own farm's livestock were targeted, but it's still odd. I won't deny that it is odd, but I don't think it's anything like that. He made that corn maze as a way to raise money for the farm. There's a lot of money in shady business, if you know what I mean. Oh, well, certainly, but wouldn't that be too obvious on the first night? Would the authorities here do anything? Fair enough, but keep in mind he died too. Is he mixed up with the wrong sort of people? Sorry, I know he's here to see his family. It must be hard to hear me talking about him like this. But I have to know. I understand. But even after he died, and well after the corn maze was open, people still went missing. That's not a very solid connection. I guess you have a point there. Anyway, I also found this key. Do you know what it goes to? Well, let me see. Hmm, it's quite a bit bigger than most of the house keys. Oh, I could be wrong, but I believe this could be the key to the barn. Alright, then next I'll search the barn. Like I originally meant to. And after that, you can finally put, to, put it to use. That should protect your livestock better. Wonderful. That'll be a huge help. Uh-oh. They don't normally fret like that. Then we need to see what's out there for ourselves right now. Hurry. No! Don't make me go by myself! Uh, away from me! No, don't make me come with you. We went to the corn maze. This room is huge. Like, I don't know. This is a corn maze? I can't see the end of it. I thought it was going to be some measurable little farm gimmick. Not this. I was surprised when I first got here, too. I didn't know him very well, but from what I heard from the townsfolk, he prided himself on it. Every year he made it bigger. It was an important fundraiser for the farm, but this one was much more impressive. Honestly, I don't even know how one man can manage to grow so much corn. Let's just get on with it. You're telling me you have to go in the corn maze? <gasps> My shoe's stuck. Oh, press... Spacebar? What on earth is that? Bird line? And how did they put that there when he was building this maze? What would you do that for? I'm not sure I follow. It's an adhesive. Is this his way to add scares to the maze? I don't like it. Watch your stuff. Yeah, he was the one managing the farm by himself, but that's kind of weird that this corn maze is, like, huge. Oh, dead end. I would not want to go in the corn maze. It's kind of scary when I think about it. Well, if you do it in the late afternoon, it's fine, but like, I mean, anyone can get in there and just do whatever. 
So I guess that's creepy in a sense. Oh, reach then. <gasps> oh, what on earth? What happened? It wasn't like that at all when I saw this morning. No, why is he eating her? Stand back. That's not your dog anymore. Run. Oh, crap. No, we have to go to the corn maze. How am I supposed to get out of this maze? So that dog was the one that was posing as... Creature? Well, time to go back. It's still following us. It wants to kill us. Go back inside the house. Oh no! There, run the house and don't look. Did it possess the dog? I should bury it so he doesn't have to see it like this. Wait a minute, that's strange. It looked like it's always been de decaying for a while. Was whatever turned into this monster too hard in its body? What could have caused something like that anyway? Hmm. Well, it's for sure, like, no one should ever go out at night. It's really scary. They're gone. There's nothing you could have done for them, so the best thing you can do now is move on. Just move on? That's all? Well, isn't that easy for you to say? That thing became a monster. It looks too late, and no matter worrying about it is going to bring it back. Those are my pets. You were supposed to prevent this sort of thing from happening. I'm not here to babysit your pets. If we don't keep pushing forward with the investigation, one of us could be next. Carry on. I suppose I don't expect you to care about something, if you don't know what it's like. And just what are you trying to imply by that? Nothing. Don't waste your time worrying about it. I've heard enough. I'm going to get some rest for tomorrow. We should do the same. We've got a lot of work ahead of us. I'm sorry, man, but there's no way to save the dog. I feel bad for those poor dogs. Oh, they should not have left them outside. I could have kept them inside. Um. Wait. There's something on the desk. What's this? I don't need these yet. Oh, so those are his pills. Should we add to the map? Their farm is ridiculously huge. I didn't expect it to be that big. <gasps> I forgot to check the windows. Crud. Crud. <laughs> oh, crud. I failed. You know, now that I think about it, those things were the ones that were controlling people. That means they can control people. I hate when I'm on this and the music just stops and it feels like something's about something's gonna pop out at me. Like it's freaky, I don't like this at all. Yes. I think that's enough for today. So I gotta remember to always close the windows. I literally forgot about that. Why is it all upside down? It's all tumbling down into there. It's hard to see past the edges, but it goes down very far. And all the buildings are stacked on top of each other. But upside down, it's hard to even look at look at it. I feel nauseous. But there are people in there. I thought I saw someone anyway, walking just past that window, and the doors are sticking out at the sides. No wait, it's changing. I can't see them anymore. It's just an endless drop. But I can feel them moving somewhere down there. Now they ransack my garage. They didn't even take anything viable as far as I know. Just a bunch of my old stuff. I even bothered. First I thought it was raccoons that got in the mess, but they got my place multiple times now and even managed to get indoors. So it is a thief? And they hidden the whole street or is it just my house? No, not at all. I just found some of my mix missing boxes too. Someone even took my trash. They can have it. Huh. What the heck was that? <gasps> what happened about that night? Run! That's very.
very strange. I slept all the way into the afternoon. I must have really needed that rest. Wait, what's all that commotion? How did I even see through that racket? Is something happening? Okay, let's go down and up here. Asking. Morning, Doctor. Likewise. He doesn't want to talk. He really did look more insensitive, though. What's going on? She identified the body. She recognized it as her son. Oh no. Where's the body? Maybe if I have a look at the injuries, I can. You already buried it. We have to do that quickly around here, just in case. Oh, I see. Those weren't any normal injuries. They looked stretched out, like, I don't know, like rubber or something. It was awful. Weren't there a couple others as well? I'm worried that this is gonna... Don't. Like, like it's gonna be a whole thing. Don't say that. Think about it. The other villagers are getting stuff too. It was the swamp up north. I think on Halloween, there was one of the villages that had like a trafficker haunted house or something. Not to mention the sewers in Ishan Ishinaku? They're practically in our backyard. I dealt with that. You don't have to worry about it. But whatever's happening here is different. You're not one of those chastiers, are you? I mean, I wasn't there. I just passed through on my way up there and heard about it on the way. Now hold on, I think you're right. There's been a shady newcomer around. Tall, dark hair. This is like a vampire or some crap. If you don't match that exact, exact description, I don't dress like a vampire. You're going to point fingers at every man in business attire and slap a chest with your title on them. Never heard of a suit in this town. Whatever, I don't have time for this. I suggest you move along before someone official shows up. Okay, that's with attitude. Wasn't me. Okay. It was rude, but he's got a good point. You should get out of here, but you still can. I've been stuck here my whole life. Can't afford to move out. I hate it here. Eggs, bacon, sausage, milk. Overcooked it a little, but that'll be alright. Strange. I could never this late for breakfast. Oh, did you see what the commotion was about? One of the townspeople was killed last night. Someone's son. I see, but you... You'll catch the monster soon, right? I'm working on it. I really want to look at the body. That could tell me everything I need to know about what kind of threat we're dealing with. I'll have to wait until no one's up to see me. And I'll ask him to help me dig up the grave. In the meantime, you know, Tamwell will not help you dig up that grave. Now that I have the bond key, I'll open that up so you can protect your livestock. Oh, thank you. That's all that's had me very worried. I lost him already, but all we can do is salvage the rest the best we can. Are you gonna help him ask you to dig up someone's body? He's not going to agree to that. That's very much wishful thinking. The barn, right? Yeah. Why is the barn so big? So this is the barn. I don't expect to find anything useful in here, but I need to be thorough and search anyway. Why do I have so many thrones going in? In the original order, I even have kids livestock in here. Better watch my step brothers so I don't get hurt. This is a very big barn. This looks really unsafe. If any of that debris gives way while I'm on the upper floor, it could collapse. How would anyone build so haphazardly? Well, there are some supports still intact. Maybe a part of it broke down? And this is just some makeshift repair? Either way, I'll need to be careful. Okay, uh, I need to be careful when searching the barn. So I have to go upstairs. Being useful here. Common supplies. Horses and other supplies. Empty. Place of farm supplies. Empty. Empty. Construction materials. Graten. More graten. What's this? Bird line? I saw some of this in the storm names. So why the hell would you need that? When I was on the ground, that could be hazardous. Was it for some sort of, sort of construction? Seems like the two parts were made together. One would think he would have had to put it in those spots, though. Wouldn't he just make 
You have just randomly fallen there. None of this makes any sense. I don't like this one bit. Wait a minute, what's this? Another key. Creeping me out, they're all laid out like some elaborate scavenger hunt. And the fact that you felt the need to lock and hide everything speaks for itself. Key. Mm -hmm. There's farming tools. I might be able to use some of these if I get a little pinch. Or if it's a livestock. No, because why would he need a key? So bizarre. Like, he keeps hiding them in, like, all these places. Okay, farming tools are pretty blunt. Um, I searched all around it now. Okay, there's fire webs. I think that's about it. Can I get that hay bale over there? Mm, I don't think I can. Okay, uh, sleep. It's getting later than I thought. It's time for dinner. I'll have to find a way to ask him to help me open that grave. I don't know how you're going to do that. I would really like to see him try. Mr. Crowen, I need your help with something, but you're not going to like it. What do you mean, Doctor? What is it? Come with me, I need you to help me find the grave of the most recent victim, and I want you to help me dig it up. What? But that's illegal. If I can see the body, maybe there will be markings or injuries that can narrow down what the culprit might be. But, but what about the rest? What about their family? We'll put it back when we're done. No one will be any wiser. What if someone finds out? I have experience. It will be a clean job. Look, just as good as it was when we started. What if someone sees us? Most people will be indoors for curfew, but someone does, and we can't hide, and I have my ways. And and what about the rights? We'll deserve the very grave and break them. I'm trained to reinstate the rights. Nothing else will happen to the body when I'm done with it. I I really don't think we should do this. We really don't have a choice, and if we don't have facts, that there will be even more bodies to bury. I know it's unsafe to work, but we have to do it. Now, can I count on your view to help? I suppose so, Doctor. Perfect. Now go show me to the most recent graves, and let's have a look. Bring a shovel and a coat, and I'll be taking a cape myself. It's going to be cool. Turn, I have to go out for a bit. No matter what happens, do not ask the door to anyone. I have the key for when I come back. Be safe. Okay. I don't want to be out here at night. It's so freaky. Drawn headstones, a husband and wife buried together. Nobody but flowers. Why is the language you don't understand? This one's very new. Oh, wait, this one's very new. That means that this is it. Right? This is the one. Our fellow was found just this morning. It wasn't even found for a proper funeral. How in villages like this, bodies have to be buried quickly before disease can go around. Or worse. You see. Well, let's get started. Please be quick. I'll take the right, you take on the left. Stay quickly, but don't scatter dirt everywhere. We'll need to put it back when we're done. Since one of us hits the coffin, we'll have to be careful of the rest to avoid making too much noise or damage in the wood. Uh oh. Who is that? Don't open the door, little girl. No, we say we're back with a key. Please don't open the door. Is that you, Daddy? Are you back? I don't want to open. I'm not opening that door. I don't know. Windows are covered. I don't want to open the door. Where's her mom? So 
no point in going inside. No one will be in there. But your mom? No? She had into his stuff. You do not. Cannot open that door. Daddy, is that you? Note. Doctor? Surely they would have answered by now unless... Mom! No! No! Daddy said not to answer the door no matter what. What if this isn't Mom? Oh, I don't like this one bit. Please come back already. Yeah, I'm not gonna open that door. Absolutely refuse to do so. Yeah. Daddy said not to answer the door no matter what. Let's just hope that wasn't our mom. Why is she doing out at night anyway? There we are. Finally. Now let's see. Definitely not the work of a Strigoi. You were right about that. Hmm, the skin is loose. Look at how it just peels apart. It's already been so warped and stretched, and all the joints are broken. What are you doing? I'm making an incision. I need to see some of the inside. You can look away if you want. Interesting. The skin isn't attached at all. If I split it a little, I can unwrap the whole thing like a pillowcase. The body was beaten into a semi-solid mess. The bones are still there, but broken. The organs are mostly gone, but why would something remove the skin so precisely? Take some organs and then leave the meat. God, uh, like some mess with people? That's it? What? Do you know what did this out of all this? All this? I could be wrong, but this looks like the work of a skin locker. Ugh. It all adds up. See the skin? Something was moving around in it, a natural way for it to stretch while I stretch it out like that. People acting strangely and luring people into the woods, that's exactly how skinwalkers work. They imitate the voices of their victims to trick people. There are different kinds. Some need to physically have the skin to use it. Others can learn to replicate it after enough time with it. But the perplexing thing is, they can resist the urge to eat the bodies. They love it too much. Could we be dealing with one smart enough to show restraint? What if the mom's a skinwalker? I don't know, I just... Maybe not. Who knows? Maybe not. But who knows? Take the skin, use it, learn it, then put together this makeshift corpse so that people would have something to bury? Or is there something else pulling the strings? Well, you hurry back to your daughter. I'll stay here and examine it a little bit more. You bury it and perform the rites. Thank you for helping with the, me with this. Uh, you're welcome. Bye, then. Please be okay. Hmm. There we go. Here does new. What an exhausting night. But now that I know what I'm up against, I have to track them down. We could wait till the morning to do all that. I really don't want to be here out here anymore. Let's go back to their home. Let's hope everything's all fine and dandy. You're back, you're back. I was so scared, I kept hearing knocking at the door. Knocking? I don't like the sound of that. Do you know who it was? Did they say anything? No. So I thought it was might be mommy because she can't speak. But you said not to open the door and I thought, what if it was a monster? So I didn't. Good girl. I'm scared to think what would have happened if you opened it. If it was your mother, she would have opened the door herself, you hear? But we'll find her. I promise. Send her to bed. We have something to discuss that we wouldn't have the stomach for. Alright then, was well, she scared? Give me a few minutes while I tuck her in. Very well. I can name the marks. I believe we're dealing with skinwalkers. Skin had been detached and put back on. Mind you, there are different kinds of skinwalkers and their methods vary. But this is just a smart one that knew the town would need to have something to bury. Like for us, we're a relatively weak one too. Stronger ones can entirely produce the skin from their own, if given enough time to study it, feel it. But since this one couldn't open the door itself or break it down, it still must be bringing her up through motor control. What? What have we got Martha? We need to go find her. Where is she where is she most likely to be? I don't I don't know. We haven't been here long enough to get to know the places. She hasn't left the farm much. So she still could be here. Let's have a look. 
search the ground but find nothing. No trace of her or the monster. You get desperate. You search the town. Ever knocks on doors. No one will answer. Pretty sure one of them can hear you, but they refuse to help. Every last one. And the night wears on, yielding no results. Ever begins to despair. You're exhausted. You can't keep this up. You need to get your strength up for the morning. I can't keep going. I'm going to collapse. I just need the rest. Yeah, she's been missing for a while. I'm worried about her. I don't know. We'll continue the search tomorrow. Wait, I gotta make sure the windows are closed. I still hate this a lot. I didn't see you there. What are you doing at my office so late? Just wanted to check on my brother. I know the procedure is exper experimental. I know you've been working all day, but... You're worried about him. I understand. How's he doing? He's in the last stage. He needs to be alone right now. If you distract him, it might not work. Oh, really? Well, okay. But don't worry. You should be able to see him tomorrow. I know. It's just hard not to be nervous. Hey, it's all right. I'm doing my best, just take it easy. I don't want you to get another headache. Well, that is reassuring. If anyone can resuscitate him, it's you, doctor. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You sure it's not a burden? Nothing's a burden if it'll help you or your family. You're too kind. That reminds me, on Wednesday, you might want to bring a coat. I know the forest is warm most of the time, but I heard it would be different this week. I'm sure to bring along some tea. Won't that be just a thing for a chilly night? Of course, you think of any everything, Veronica. I will love that. Well, I have to go now. Please take care of him, Jesse. And don't forget to take care of yourself, too. Even surgeons need their rest. I will just be safe, Veronica. Take a light with you through those trees. You never know if something might jump out at you. No, stop it. You're scaring me. Huh? <sighs> no, I'm not. I'm just giving you some advice, is all. Well, good night, Jesse. I wish you the best of luck. You don't need to. He's in good hands. What? Did we do something on accident? Did we... Look at that. You're already almost done. It wasn't supposed to be like that. It was supposed to last longer. I won't even make any progress with you. How many times? How many of you do I need to prove it? I'm so close. You'll be forced to recognize my accomplishments if I just give them proof. It doesn't even have to be complete. There's a start. Just a little change in the brain chemistry. Can I make that much? Wait, what's this? Maybe it's happening after all, but you won't be able to see it. You never had a chance anyway. Your wounds were too deep. Now will be plenty to convince your family. At least in the end, there will be you are able to be used for something much greater instead of dying a waste. You laughed at my research, but they won't. Then when I show them as an example. Uh oh, he did something to Veronica and that girl Veronica's brother. Because he had a grudge against him? It seems like. That was a very bad dream. Okay, now we have the forest entrance, corn maze. There's a there was a cave up ahead right around here. Um, so let's go down. There's a note. Edward's not here, but he left a note. I've gone to continue searching. I'll be back around the time we usually eat dinner, but I haven't found her sooner. What time is it now? Oh my god, goodness, I only have an hour? I can't believe how late I've been sleeping in. Then again, it was a very long night. Where could she have gone? We searched everywhere. The only places we haven't checked are the ones still locked up by Jonathan. The only potential lead I have is this key. I haven't seen the basement yet. I don't know why I can expect to find down there, but the least I can do is check. Wait, is this lantern always here? Could use some fresh oil. Eh, I don't think I'm good. Finally, I can go down to the basement. The basement always holds some secrets and whatnot. 
What is this? <gasps> Crap. That was... Why is there a huge hole in the basement? What? Maybe that's why he locked it up. Okay. So I could quite literally die at any point, any time if I'm not careful. Okay, time to go to the basement again. Try not to die this time. Okay, what's this? Various bills and notices for the farm, some threatening eviction. I don't know what a combination for this is. Journals, let's see. No, none of them have any writing. Shame. Let's see here. All these papers are rough drafts for corn maze advertisements. Had to find a way to make it sound appealing, the way you could lure them in. Cards and cataloging every kind of crop this farm can sell looks actually impressive. There are even a lot of plants listed that I thought can even grow out here. Books are mostly empty. Pleasure. From the vest- what? Sold in bottles? Some kind of drug? Could be. A grim assortment of tools hang from the wall. As for the cabinets, there must be nothing useful in there. What does that sound? Oh, okay, that's just music. Dishes, rope, empty containers, essentially a junk drawer, but entire shelves. There's a letter in here. Mr. Crowen, it appears your farm is all dried up. Pity. What will you do when the winter comes and you have no food? No income saved from up from a well be would be harvest. Fortunately for you, there's a, a solution. We know where it is. So why haven't you employed it yet? Time's running short. If you acquire assistance, we can guide you through the rules again and give you or give you any necessary parts for the task. You won't be prosecuted, you have our word. We want to see what happens, and the forest is hungry. You best not keep it waiting. Wither sends her regards. Okay, suspicious. Looked like someone was coercing him into whatever happened on this farm. Wither? Who would that be? To care about the farm so much, he had not bothered to write the letter themselves. I think I'll hold on to this. So he was involved. Well, I mean, he wasn't wrong. Some backpacks and shoes and clothes and toys and even books for children of various ages from roughly 8 to their later teens. There's no way all of this belongs to Jonathan. He must have taken them from victims of the corn maze. How could he let so many children go through that? There's also a key. Okay, I got a key. Don't know what this could be- Oh, I forgot. Oh, you're back. How did the search go? Any leads? No, nothing. I've been searching all day. Well, all I can do is your best. We'll find her eventually. You look awful. You should get some rest. How can I? When she's gone, if it were me, she wouldn't stop looking. Would you want her to push herself to death? Besides, it's inefficient if you try searching exhausting. Exhausted. You won't be able to think. Press now, and do an actual good job of it first thing in the morning. Well, alright. Thank you, doctor. I should see what this key goes to. It's too big, like the barn key. Ugh, why do we always have to do our investigating at night? I mean, I guess we have to because they're out at night, but like, still. Do we have to go to that creepy old barn at night? I'm like, oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Jesus Christ. What? What the heck was that? Did they just hurl that thing out the window? Oh my god. <laughs> How am I supposed to go out now? I don't want to go out. I don't want to go. Okay, I have to go to the creepy old barn. Fun! Lots of tools. It's really... The bags are full of blood and vegetables? What on earth? Of all things, where's the body? Anything important here? No? Broken. It looks like some of the parts were taken out on purpose. Strong alcohol. Must have been an escape for him. The ends are wearing off. 
A little more than a piece of junk now. There's blood on the wood. Some of the blood spilled onto the wood. A stolen shipping cart? What on earth did he need this for? I can only see through the opening slit a little, but it looks almost formless. Whatever's in there is decomposing, and I don't want to get anywhere near it. Sounds like it's... It looks like the tops of vegetables, but it's nothing like compost. It's... Did it just move? What if he isn't trying to keep people out, but keep that stuff in? There's something glinting at the top. Oh no. Don't tell me. That's the key. I'll just reach in and grab it real quick. Pumped again. This stuff's sticking to my hand. There. Got it. Who's the idiot placing all these keys anyway? Ugh. Would Jonathan have put it in there knowing he'd probably never get it back? Or did this stuff come after? The key was sitting at the top, so he would have known. Was he suicidal? Or did he want something locked away never to be seen again? Or both? Okay, we got a key. Um, uh, mysterious key. Don't know what that could be for. Anything of use here? Who did that toy belong to? Couldn't have been Fern. This has been locked up since before they arrived. Did you take this from somewhere in the corn maze? It's very far in decay. Been here for a long time. Ash is spilling from the shattered pottery. Was this someone's urn? Uh, Pattered bedding. Was he living up here for a time? How did he get torn up so badly? Nothing but trash and cigarettes, but there must have been some important things in here. Otherwise, why have dresses up here in this this makeshift bedroom? Why not just a trash can? No, someone definitely ran off with these things. I don't know if it was Jonathan himself when it was alive, or or maybe... Could it have been the family? Were they trying to hide something from me? No, for one, they didn't have the key to get in here. But even if they somehow had access, if they wanted to hide something, they wouldn't have called me here in the first place. And Martha went missing, so this isn't any kind of plan of theirs. I'm getting ahead of myself. But whatever the case is, I'm almost certain someone took things out of here and hid them. I must have anticipated a search, or at least been paranoid about the possibility of one. These were drugs. The fingernails sticking out along the tears. Unbelievable. Was he able to rip the fabric with his bare hands? There's a little blood. Looks like it must have hurt. Some of the table legs are ripped right out from under the table. Mold. Almost as if the force is forcing its way into my very lungs through it. No, you're just being dramatic. Don't let those villagers' old tales get to you, uh, now. I have to stay focused. There's some blackened paste on the end of this. What was he drilling into? Hmm. I feel like I'm still right about the forest. Where are you all these urns? About uh, the forest trying to consume the village. Mouse. What's this? There's a lot of rubble in here. He must have used it to burn things in private. Most of it damaged beyond my condition. But I think I see some fragments of statues. This one has an elephant trunk, and over there is a pair of tusks and a fish of some sort. Could this be more ritual paraphernalia? These weren't used for the farm. Can't stand these wretched webs clinging to everything. Oh, he really hates spiders. Who does this toy belong to? That bottle. Looks like he was on source of medication. I guess you could relate to that. Contents are empty now. Huh. Well, he's been... The farmer's brother has been involved in some very shady crap. How are these growing indoors? Parts of the ceiling are breaking off and collapsing. Need to work quickly and get out of here. I hope something in the ceiling's gonna fall on me. I can't be serious. This part of the forest is impossible to drive in, but people still have car parts such as these tires anyway. Almost as if they used to have roads. Something happened suddenly to make them unusable? Okay. Construction materials. Um, I think we investigated long enough. 
Who doesn't chase me? Because I don't want to be chased. Nothing else? Toolbox? There's some usual tools stashed in here. A uh, catalyzer? Hooks of vary varying shapes and sizes? Zip ties? These look like torture tools. That's not good. Oh, I think we're done. Oh, what was that? Oh my god! That kind of scared me. Run! What? What is that thing? I have to run into this fast. Oh no. That was my fault. I'm not fast enough. For a few crushing moments, you feel the ivory puncturing your stomach. Pushing up your insides and splitting your organs. Hot splash of blood at the back of your throat and then... I failed. Finally I made it sorry. My god. Oh, it's mad. Dang. It's gone now. Is it gone? What am I going to do? How am I going to fight that? The claws are as big as my scythe. Its arms are longer than I'm tall. I can't even get into the attack range, let alone reach his head for a chance to cut it off. I I have to calm down, come up with a plan, think. There has to be something I can do, right? I'm not taking any chances out there tonight. I need to wait for the morning for it to be weaker. I just hope it doesn't kill any more of the town people in the meantime. Because I'm at a loss for what to do. Oh, oh wait. Let's make sure. Just in, I don't want that thing coming in. I know I closed the windows before, but you know, it could have come up again. Okay. Okay, it's fine now. Everything's fine. That thing was really big. They're bothering me again. The symptoms. Why? Why now? I have a job to do. I can't. Why is it so frequent here? What's wrong with this place? That monster. I don't stand a chance. What if it's waiting for me right now? What if it attacks me as soon as I open the door? What? Do I just shut myself in here until I starve? And the trees. They can't really talk. That's ridiculous. Everybody in this decaying slum they call villages, keep insisting that the trees are sentient or something. They're more afraid of them than they are of the demons that are causing the real problems. Why? Why can I breathe? That's not all. They, they're they shut in on all sides by that bloody woods. They won't even put, us, put it to use. They're letting the force overrun the whole town. So why am I so nervous? I've been like this for years. I've seen so much worse in so many different ways. Yet, yeah, never a forest of thinking, breathing trees. There's no way that could be true. And even if it was, what is the matter if they're alive? But I can't stop worrying. I feel so oppressive like one giant creature, something that reaches vile roots into everything. About thousands of hungry, hungry fingers, it's this way. And that's slowly suffocating the small villages in its grasp. Get a hold of yourself. That doesn't make any sense. Superstition? Some false religion? A cult? There's some kind of cult around here worshipping that bloody thing. They must have started this nonsense. So why do I feel like it's happening all around me? The pills. I, I need them. I, I need... No, I need to keep my hands still. I'm spilling them. Just, just one dose. That should do it. Now all I have to do is wait. Okay, so he's also being affected by something. And we fell on the ground. Another dream? Mr. Thornheart, just take your pills. You may be upset now, but it's only in your head. You're sick, and these will make everything better. You're lying. I know what will happen if I take those. I'll be able to see them again. They will be able to touch me again. And I'll wake up on the table, or worse. I'll wake up slowly, sickly, all over the course of days. Calm down, Mr. Thornheart. You're just having another episode. Your anxiety is making you your own worst enemy. 
Just close your eyes, deep breaths. All you have to do is take them and it'll be all be fine. Stop talking to me like that. Playing doctor with me, with that sick, condescending smirk on your face, do you know what they're doing to me? You want me to take them. You're tricking me. You want me to hear them, don't you? And you want me under so you can cut me open and put things into me again. Well, I refuse. Get away from me. You need these now, I'm throwing heart. You can't sleep without them. And if you don't take them, I'll keep them myself and leave you in here. Instead of you getting your rest, you'll be in here, awake, unable to close your eyes, rotting in your own sleep deprivation. You scratch at yourself again, you'll keep talking to yourself again. Remember last time, when you were digging into your wrist with those your fingernails, screaming that you had to get the snakes out? You just kept sitting there, clawing with shavings of your own skin and fat and blood piling into your lap. What a pathetic sight. You don't want that again. I... fine. I'll take them. No, this time you need to beg. What? Still haven't learned. You're not the doctor anymore. You're the patient. We're here to help you. You have to... Stop lying to me. How can you possibly keep pretending this is helping? I didn't come here with any conditions. You held me here against my will, and you gave them all to me. If I'm mad now, I'm mad because of you. It's all your fault. Do you want the pills? Yes. Then beg. Beg for your treatment like you mean it. This is ridiculous. Now, or I will leave you here. Wonder why the noises in the next cell over stopped? He was proud too. Then we left him to his own devices. And he just didn't make it. Put out all the floor and made us a big stinking mess. Oh, right, all right. Please give him to me. No. Please, I need them. I'll do anything. Anything you want. Just give them to me. I need them. I need them right now. I'll never refuse you again. Please. I just have to have them this once. Give them to me already. I need them. You need them, and don't you ever forget it. Well, aren't you going to say thank you? Thank you, or I'll get them. Get them, and all your days, days rations pumped right back out of your stomach. You can vomit and starve. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I wouldn't be able to live without these. So if you can't, why are you hesitating? Swallow them already. Swallow them now, or I'll take them back. That's it. The floor is melting like quicksand. The ceiling is starting to melt, too. I can't move. Sweet dreams, Mr. Thornhart. Not yet. Just wait a few minutes until he's out. Then put him on and strap him down, just in case he wakes up during the procedure. He's shown remarkable progress. He might be even be able to begin the bloodletting soon. Bloodletting? I don't understand. What is going on? I can't believe I keep coming back to them. I hate them. They make my insides bleed. I'd rather die. But I can't think straight when I'm... Never mind. Time to focus. There's a demon out there and I'm going to kill it. But how? Okie dokie. What the? Trees growing in the house? Ha. <laughs> ha. Trees in the house. Trees in the house. Of course. Just grow in here overnight. How special. Oh dear. Get a hold of yourself. Now's not the time to lose it. What was that? They're all over here. Wow. Anything... Here? Wow, no, I was just talking about the childhood books. Something here? Oh wait, what's this? Is this always here? Is this always sticking out? So it fell off the bookshelf. Let's see, where did it go? Wait, before I scratch marks on it? Does this thing actually move? It's a secret stairwell. How did they never find this? That will explain the space dispersion upstairs. This must lead to a walled up part of it. We're all time to see what Jonathan was hiding up there. Ah, that makes sense. I was like, the house looks so big up here. It's even bigger up here. What the hell? I'm gonna press the piano, but the wires inside all all been ripped out. This one's still alive, but how? This part of the house has been locked up for weeks. 
This one's dried out at the bottom and is browning at the top. How did that even happen? There's the last remains of shriveled plants inside. There's literally windows here. How did they not notice? If I tell my head, I could just make out the outlines of the corn maze off to the leftmost edge of the glass. Oh, that's... there's windows. I did not really know there was another room here. Let me touch this. October 31st. I led them there first. I was desperate, so I sought the beings of the forest. I offered them incense and meat, just like in the older times. They said if I give them people, they will save the farm. They would breathe new life into the crops and that would flourish like never before. So I built a corn maze, promising scares no one would believe. As a symbol of their power, they made the corn stalks grow in no time at all, weave together into a mess so tangles and neither sword nor sickle could cut through it. It leads right into the forest itself, so I don't have to do any of the work. I could even get the participants to sign waivers because they think it's merely part of the scares. None of them ever come back to warn others. It's been a few days since I started. This town isn't very big, and only a few people went inside the corn maze. I think it's working. I see buds and sprouts in my soil again. November 3rd. The crops are growing fast, fast faster than I thought possible. But this isn't what I wanted. They made a false deal. The crops are sick. They aren't the same. They bruise, they bloat, they bleed. They smell, taste so foul. Brulent matter leaks from them. Some of them even have bones. It didn't take me long to realize the crops are grown out of the people who disappear in my corn maze. <gasps> Feels like the trees grow around them and into corpses, so the beings have made the trees grow directly out of them. When I took a shovel to the dirt to see the roots, they always look back to the body parts, an arm, a leg, fingers, but never a head or a torso. The beings savor those and the organs inside of them, too much to give them up. The farm is dying all around me. The worst part is it keeps coming back too. It dies to create a sort of compost to grow new atrocities out of it. I dread seeing what it will become. November 8th. I haven't been making any money. No one will eat these strange crops of mine. I was starving. I had to eat the vegetables. At first, I couldn't stomach more than a few bikes. They were full of blood, prolent fluids and dirt. I, I think. I don't know exactly what it was. And the peels? They were like burnt and bruised. Oh my god, someone's behind him. Burnt and bruised skin. But mixed with the wood of the trees and roots they're growing out of it, I would vomit it all right back up. But as my hunger persisted, so did I. As today, I was able to get to the sweet center of one of the vegetables. It was bliss, a perfectly black and barbed tendril of the privileged blood of the forest itself. I gorged myself on everything I could pull out of my fields just to get to taste the, that sweet forest blood more and more. I don't know how I managed to fit it all into my stomach. It was very close to bursting. But the sheer volume I ate was enough to fill a few carts. But I was still so hungry. Oh, so he's- I think he was the one. So hungry. The forest is calling me. Right, so I remember that's how skin markers are like made because if they eat another human being from like due to hunger or whatnot, they'll forever become hungry and keep eating humans if like satisfy that hunger. Having consumed so much of its blood, I'm awakening it to its presence and powers more and more. It wants me to enter. I don't know why. I mustn't answer its call. Impossible. In this whole time, the rotting vegetables, the compost? I ate some of the produce here. This is horrible. I knew it. The corn maze was nothing but a front, a trap. I have to tell Edward. I have to get out of there and put a stop to this once and for all. Oh. That was his ghost, but I do it. That was so shady. The clock is stopped. Anything here? Anything important? No? Nope. Time to get out of this. It's such a nice house too. It makes me kind of sad. Just like the ones downstairs with actual living plants this time. Can I not leave? Like... Oh. Jonathan didn't put those keys there. Someone in here? Show yourself. This place is getting to me. So Jonathan wasn't the one who did that. I think I think I have a plan. It's going to take a lot of digging. Finally. Three holes will have to do it. 
I'm too exhausted to dig anymore. Now to add the bird lime. How right that I can be grateful there was enough to spare. Alright, that should do it. Not even a monster like that will be able to climb out this much. I should conceal these. Interact with one of the holes to cover it. You have to time it just right and get three successes in a row to hide a trap. If you fail, we can try again. Oof. Kinda hate these. I'm not that quick. <laughs> I'm not that quick. Dang it! I still failed, even though it was at the end. Oh my god, I suck. Gotta time this carefully. Oh, good. Trap hidden successfully. Is there are more? There's more of them up here. That one's right there. Okay, and just one more. Dang it. Said. I wish I could hide them a bit better, but I guess at night it won't make too much of a difference. I hope this works. All I have to do now is get back to the house and wait for that monster to come back out. Oh, the trees have all grown too. Oh, that's so freaky. Oh no, the trees, they have already grown. They're just, the leaves fell off. So I guess I mean, it's fall now. The weight is crushing. You can't leave the town at the mercy of the monster, trapping you into facing it for yourself. You face worse before, you're sure of it, but right now it feels like the worst thing to be doing in the world. What if you made a mistake? What if it's too strong? Even if you play your part perfectly? What if you die? What if dying isn't the worst thing that can happen here? But time waits for no man. Before you're ready, even though no amount of time or preparation can make you truly feel ready, you hear it, and it's time to begin. Okay. Where are the... Daughter and- oh. More trees have grown. I really don't want to go out there, man. I can't believe how fast these trees are growing. I couldn't escape now even if I tried. Huh? What is that? Is that one of the cows? It's unrecognizable. Okay, let me turn on, actually, let me go to options and turn on always dash to make my life easier. There's so many trees. This is an actual hindrance. It sounds like it's behind a corn maze. I need to lower it back here into one of my traps and be careful that I don't follow myself. <sighs> don't tell me I have to go in the corn maze. I am very unlucky, aren't I? Actually, let me turn off. <laughs> I feel like that won't do well for me. Everything looks so thick, it's hard to see. I didn't know I'm linking back to Jonathan. That's so strange. Because their children are going missing in the corn maze, so you have to think, oh, Jonathan did something. Alright, excuse me. I have to hurry. Yes, I do.
Oh, it's even worse if I can barely see. I can so fast too. There's something wrong, terribly wrong. I can feel something inside me, writhing, stretching. It's agony, make it stop. I shouldn't have come out here. I should have never been a chassier in the first place. I don't want to die like this. I'll become a monster. Ah! It? You have no words. You will never speak intelligently again. You have become another skin for that thing to wear. The organs move to unnatural places. They split open, fall out. Your eyes roll back into their sockets. Your throat expands rapidly. Soon, it will have your voice too. And then there's nothing. Nothing at all. Oh. Hello? Is someone there? Who are you? Get away. Hey, get off my property. I'm warning you. Oh, what's wrong with your face? What are you... <coughs> Ending five out of five, Skinwalker. It took me forever. It worked. It actually fell in. I have to hurry and finish the job. Oh! It's gonna drag me in? It's pulling me in. I need to pull myself up. I can't do it. I'm not strong enough. Just when all seems lost. A hand. A lifeline. It's Edwards. He pulls you up. But what are you doing out here? It's not safe. I'm helping you. I was scared, but I heard your cries and I knew I had to do something. You're protecting my family by fighting this thing, so I couldn't call myself a man if I let it kill you. I heard your cries and I knew I had to help however I can. Thank you. But there's one more thing I need to do. Finally, this nightmare is over. You know, that thing was diabolical. Martha was eventually found in the forest. She was terribly injured, unconscious, but able to be restored to health. She had gotten lost and couldn't cry out for help. And Edward wouldn't stop looking until he found her. The family is safe thanks to your efforts, and so is the town. The farm would have to be completely plowed and start over to get rid of the abominations in the soil. But they'll manage. As for yourself, it's time to get going. There are others who will need your help. And you still need those answers that keep escaping you. Ending 3 out of 5, good ending. Well, I, I think I got the best ending out of I'm pretty sure there would be a true ending, so... Um, yeah. Okay, so I feel like... Uh, the dog farmer's daughter dying might have an effect on an ending, so yes, we'll open the door. But it was obviously a bad idea. Mom, it is you. I was so worried about you. Why? No, something isn't right. You're all stretched. Mommy? No. No. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. He, he discovered her body. No. Is that Edward? What's going on? Edward? She's, she's not there. Fern's missing. What if the monster took her and Martha? We have to find them. You search, and you search. You find nothing. No trace of her or the monster. You get desperate. You search the town. Edward knocks on doors. No one will answer. You're sure some of them can hear you, but they refuse to help. 
every last one. And the night wears on, yielding no results. Edward begins to despair. I would too if both my wife and my daughter were gone. Oh my god. I can't. I can't keep going. I'm going to collapse. I just need some rest. He searched everywhere. Where could they have gone? I don't know, but I can't keep going. I guess yes. I've got another key. It's odd. There's been one in every new room. Like, they often lock them up backwards. Almost as if... That's all you care about is the mystery. My wife and daughter are dead. The monster got them. You were supposed to stop this from happening. I'm terribly sorry for your fates, but... Are you? Are you really? Yes, but if we don't keep searching, your deaths will be in vain. And what will we get? Revenge? I just want my family back. You failed. You were supposed to stop all this, and you just let it happen. Just calm him down. Please, hear me out. I can't imagine the pain you're going through. Your loss is terrible. I've seen more tragedies than I even like to think about. That comes with the job. These monsters are everywhere, and they don't spare anyone. There aren't enough chastiters to keep up with all of them. I'm doing my best, and to find out what we're up against, I need more information. That's why I need you to be patient and help me. We won't stop searching until we find them, but we also need to deal with the monster before we can do this to anyone else. Can I count on your help? Fine, but please hurry. I'm doing my best. You look awful. You should get some rest. How can I when she's gone? If it were me, she wouldn't stop looking. But you want her to push herself to death. Besides, it's inefficient if you try searching exhausted. You won't be able to think. Rest now and do an actual good job of it first thing in the morning. Well, alright then. Thank you, doctor. Looks like it's a big barn key. Oh. <gasps> what? It's their bodies. You, you did kill all of them. I'll kill you. I'm avenging my daughter. Even if you didn't protect her, what you're doing here and now, risking everything to kill this monster? I heard your cries and I knew I had to help, however I can. Thank you. But there's one more thing I have to do. Finally, this nightmare is over. Martha's remains were eventually found in the forest. Her skin was gone, and there were gnashes, gashes all around her torso. It was a slow death. She must have been in agony, but she couldn't scream for help, so no one came. Time to give them rest. I feel terrible. I wish there was more I could have done. This is one of the worst parts of being a chastiter. Getting to know people, just to bury them in a few days. But I did everything I could. At least, I think I did. But I have to believe it, because I can't bear the thought of the alternative. I'll finish this grave, and then I'll be on my way. To the next case. Hopefully this time I'll do better. I think 2 out of 5, true ending. What? Is it true, true ending? Escalate it. I was out there searching through your family's old junk, trying to get a lead. Maybe you have taken some more initiative, we could have stopped it in time. Me? I'm just a farmer. What do you expect me to do with a monster like that? That's why I called you. That's the one thing you crazy people are supposed to be good for and you can't even do it right. Crazy. You all hide in the shadows waiting for trouble to come along so you can turn a profit on it. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're in cahoots with that monster. Just have it terrorize this town until we all cough up everything we've got. And conveniently, it'll go away after that, right? Let's escalate some more. Me working with the monster? You practically gave your family away to it. Why on earth did I have to be the one to tell you to close the windows? What were you doing while I was investigating anyway? Twiddling your thumbs? Martha went out all alone. What did you think she could was going to accomplish? Your own daughter couldn't even be bothered to listen. If she never opened that door, she'd still be here.
Wait. Oh, never mind. You do what he wants. My light is going to start doing any good now anyway. Alone. Alone. All alone. All your fault. You let them die. Empty house. Empty body. Gone. All gone. Could have saved them. Didn't. Dying. Dead. Next, go outside. Face it. What are you waiting for? Wait, that's three bodies. No! He must have went out the farm must have went out to find his wife and daughter believing that they're still alive. Dang. Oh, they're dead. How are we supposed to survive then? We won't have anyone to get us out from being trapped with the skinwalker. Oh, shoot. Okay, we fell into the hole. I can't do it. I'm not strong enough. Uh oh. Yep. After coming all this way, the chastator meets his end at the hands of a monster. The farm is empty. Above, a layer of soil will eventually cover the ground, burying everything that happened here. Below, the roots will spread. They'll tear you apart. Take your blood to feed them, just like the veins beneath the farm. Wait, you've heard that before, right? Everything's going dark, but it'll be a long time before you die. You'll be stuck rotting down here, just like the farm's other victims. You think you can hear them. Ending one out of five, bad ending. So there's a library here. These are some of the newest books on display. Games, some on boards, some in carriages. I haven't seen any of these ones before. Pencil drawings of strange creatures. Did he make these? Small assortment of language books. None of these are real languages. In the library, maybe I could find... I don't know, information about the town? Various games are displayed on the shelf. Supernova, Tokyo Rage, Renee's Revenge, Under Lavender Town Tower. Mostly comics, but one book doesn't belong. It's an engineering manual bound in leather with a couple of notes stuck between the pages. I want to make the first robot come to life. My postmodern Prometheus. Advancing human well, humans looks promising, but it's never enough. I can get metal into their limbs to replace those just fine, but every time I try to go farther, something goes wrong. First, I took inspiration from my temptations of the book by using the power of electricity. I thought certainly there was potential there, but... And it was a resource they lacked that we are only just now beginning to understand. So I took some bodies, filled some of their empty places with metal, and hauled out others where I needed and tried electrocuting them. The metal parts would work as intended, but no combination of these would reignite cognitive function, or as close enough semblance of one's empty life. In the absence of being able to create or restore a cognitive function, I need to add to something that already has it. So I need to take some living test subjects. I tried making alchemical robots by feeding them feeding someone liquid metal. At first it was making progress. In the autopsy we found that the esophagus and the stomach lining had begun to turn from metal, but it burst and killed them. I also tried adding copper wires to the brain, but it's impossible to make it all the way through the cerebral cortex without puncturing one fold and jutting into another again, wasting a patient. We need more precise tools. I fear I won't see the fruits of my work in my own lifetime. Doctor, the initials are ripped out. That was weird. Um, I feel like that has to do with our character here, right? Several copies of the same old games are piling up. Seems they don't get new ones often. I feel like it has to be because one of his flashbacks would show him like being prescribed pills, the pills that he uses now, and they, the pills were like drugs, and he was saying that he didn't want to take the pills because he knew they were going to like put something inside his body again. I wonder if my own work will make it to the shelf one day. Everything here is on sale. He must be desperate to save business. One of these is signed by the author. 
It must have had been special. Wonder how it ended up here. Mm. Oh, I think that's it. Yeah, it's all I Okay, so I can't fall into my own trap. Nice to know. That's it? How deep was the hole? Ending 4 out of 5 fell for your own trap. Okay, so I got that ending. I didn't realize it took me forever to look for that ending, so I decided to go into the game's files to like see like what that last ending was. It was just falling into our own traps and dying. Which is kind of a sad way to die when you think about it, but uh yeah. So that's the end of the Hollow's Harvest. Overall I like the game. I was hoping it would like it would develop into more of like the town lore and like seems like the surrounding towns are also suffering from like evil entities like haunting them and the forest itself is also pretty much alive but like skinwalker i think the skinwalker is just part of some bigger plan of whatever cult or whatnot that's controlling the forest because the farmer's uh brother he was propositioned by someone to like like make a deal with demons so that his farm could prosper and maybe he was feeling guilty about doing it so they killed him off so they wouldn't be revealed I was hoping that would be revealed in this game, but it probably won't be revealed in this game. Maybe the creator of this game will make another game to like dwell further into the war of it all. But uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Bye.